All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and we finally have some FPSs that we can talk about that aren't Call of Duty. Spectre Divide just got announced on Steam today. It is a free-to-play competitive 3v3 tactical shooter driven by Duality. Duality is a brand new feature that allows you to control two bodies in real time, letting you defend two sites at once or cover your own cross or even trade yourself. Duality is an entirely new vector for mastery, bringing a new dimension to tactical shooter fundamentals. Basically how it works, you control two characters, not necessarily at the same time, but you have a little puck that you can throw out and then spawn in your specter and then switch between them. It allows you to maybe go up and plant a bomb, you place your specter down, and then you can switch to that character and cover your character who is planting the bomb. Or if you want, if you're sniping and you want to set up a character behind you to watch your flank, you can look down a lane, hide, switch to your back character who might have like a shotgun, a completely different loadout. Hell, a completely different character that you can customize who's then watching your back and you can swap between them and watch two different lanes at once. So it's 3v3, but it's technically almost kind of 6v6 in a way. And it reminds me a lot, obviously, I mean, we're getting the Valorant blend, we're getting the Counter-Strike blend. It reminds me a lot of Alara Prime. That was a game I covered earlier this year, I think a few weeks ago, that's actually just shutting down altogether because they couldn't find a publisher. Alara Prime was a brand new, like it was a three team search and destroy style mode, similar to this. It was a fresh take on that bomb plant mode. And that's what this is as well. Their Steam page says it's crafted for 3v3 competition. So take turns as attackers and defenders to plant and defuse the Zeus device across two site maps. Compete solo or with your team in rank to prove your skill. And this is one thing that they're really kind of honing in on in their trailers is that this game is built for competitive play. As a YouTuber, I can set up what they're calling a crew of 60 friends in weekly engagement-based competition to score the most points and move up the leaderboard. So their focus is not only on competition in terms of the 3v3 setting, but also bringing communities together to work up leaderboards. So basically what I can do is send it out to everybody here. Yo, we're starting a crew. Here's the invite, join it. The more games we all win, the higher we climb up the leaderboards. I'm not sure what that actually gets us, but hopefully we can maybe earn something like cosmetics, skins for weapons, character customization options. I don't fucking know, but they are focused on community building and competition. Obviously their style, like they say, is rooted in sci-fi comic book art and the Japanese classic cell animations of the 1990s. They say the style presents clean visual reads, perfect for executing next level plays, and the game looks fucking gorgeous. I love this style. It reminds me a lot of Out of Action, which is uh, a solo developer named Doku. He's working on his own game, and it's got that cell shaded kind of sci-fi, you know, ghost in the shell inspired art style. Both games definitely have the same inspirations for some of their art, and the, the game looks gorgeous. And the one thing that I was waiting and hoping that they would say, and they actually did, is the fact that you don't need to stand still to be accurate in this game like Valorant and Alara Prime. I can ADS, move around a corner, and don't get punished for moving which is fucking awesome. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a fan of Counter-Strike. I'm not very good at it. I've never really been a big fan of Valorant. This game looks to be taking a lot of features from a lot of games that I actually enjoy and putting them together, and it's competitive, and it allows us to come together as a community to create a crew and work on weekly uh, challenges or, or climbing leaderboards. I think all of this sounds fucking awesome if you guys go to the steam page this isn't sponsored by the way you can click the request access button to try to get access to their stress test which is happening august 3rd so literally in two days time they're going to be stress testing it and once that's done if everything goes well from what i'm hearing there's going to be a more open play test happening later this month i don't have many details on that but go to their steam page wish list it check it out for yourself there's more information there there's more gameplay i would also urge you guys if you're watching this video 
go check out a video by Tomographic. He had an access to the game at a previous playtest where he actually played with the developers. He got a chance to actually sit down, ask questions, and play with them. And he did a fantastic job showcasing what you can actually do with this duality system. It fucking, it, it slaps. I'm very excited for this, actually. Like, it's not the military, you know, realistic herder tactical shooter that, that people are, you know, kind of expect me to go for, but tactical, competitive, 3v3, leaderboards, cl you know, clans, it has a lot of things that I'm actually really looking for in an FPS that can keep me hooked long term. On top of the character and weapon customization, man, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fucking with this. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you care about Spectre? Do you think it's going to be a, a flash in the pan? Do you think it's going to be successful? Are you excited? Are you not? I want to know your thoughts down below. While you're down there, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more FPS content. When I can get my hands on the game, I will be bringing you a follow-up video. Hell, the game might be shit. I got to feel it for myself. It looks like it plays incredibly well from everything I'm hearing from the internal playtests that have taken place over the last few months. People are very excited about this game after playing it. So I can't wait to try it for myself. Hopefully I can get in this weekend. I don't think I can make content on this weekend stress test, but once it goes into that more open test, we should be able to potentially stream it and make videos on it. So I'm very excited to do that and let you guys know my full thoughts. My name is Big Brad. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.